All right. Jane asks, and we like people named Jane. Yeah. <laughs> Jane asks. Um, actually, I forget what Jane asks. I put it on the other tab. But Jane asks, what I think is, what do you think about this article? And the article is from a person called Beta M. Stadler. Yeah, Beta M. Stadler, who is retired um, and I think used to work in Switzerland um, at a big immunology institute. And yeah, good for Beta M. Stadler. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is another one of those things. This is another one of those person that doesn't know what they're talking about but is saying it real loud kind of things yeah there's there's more and more of these all over the place all right but uh yeah um it says right here in the uh <laughs> introduction that beta m stadler presumably wrote that uh, stadler is an important medical professional in switzerland so there you go yeah <laughs> oh yeah that's how it starts you start by appealing to somebody's sense that if you have a certain position, then you must know what you're talking about. Fact is, most virologists, unless they have been reading these specific papers and focusing on, you know, yeah, the new research, which is really hard and you got to really dig at it. And I think I'm about two weeks behind right now, except for the major things. I still got to go back and catch up. But yeah, this is a full time job. But if you haven't been putting in that full time because you're engaged in, I don't know, something else, anything else, then you're not going to be an expert. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. it's like me saying, oh, I'm a, I'm a virologist. Therefore, I know about all viruses. Yeah. You can pick a whole bunch of viruses and yeah, I'll have trouble telling you if it's got a DNA or an RNA genome, which is a sick burn on me because yeah, you're supposed to know that stuff, but there are enough obscure Weirdo viruses is the term I use for all the ones that I don't uh, haven't really learned about and worked on. That uh, yeah, you, you can't presume um, that somebody knows what they're talking about unless they can back it up with papers. Yeah, and in this letter we have a lot of words and no papers. So yeah, because basically it's not that you know anything; it's that you can pull up this body of work that somebody else has done and say. I, I don't know anything, but here's what this other person found when they looked at a question similar to yours. I think it applies, and I think it applies in this way, but have a look at it and see if you think it applies. That's actually the correct answer to any science question. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we probably don't get those right uh, every time, but that's that's the gold standard. That's where we should be going. So um, this thing starts off... Um, by saying, let's see, uh, da, 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 da. experts missed basic things. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's called Why Everyone Was Wrong. And in this, Beta M. Stadler goes on to essentially be 100% wrong. 99%. We can get to the one thing that uh, Beta M. Stadler got right. I think it's a guy. I'm resisting using a pronoun because I don't want to just assume that. And yeah, whatever. This person, goofball though they may be, has their dignity. So fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, so one, is it a new virus? Uh, the answer is no, which partially as a person that sat on that committee and said that, wow, this is the same species, but a different strain from original SARS coronavirus and the SARS family of fine viruses. Um, yeah, that part's that part is okay. It's like we're we're okay so far. And let's just yeah, if we would just put a little little, little period right there, we end that and uh, it'd be okay. But no, no, no. Uh, BDM Stadler goes on. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the second paragraph is that um, even though this is in the first paragraph almost identical to SARS coronavirus one, which is a lethal killer. In the second paragraph, this has been downgraded to a to merely a seasonal cold virus, which is oh, so stupid, so stupid. Yeah, <laughs> ah, just makes me mad and crazy at the same time. But what the heck? All right, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> makes you feel alive, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's see. Second, the fairy tale of no immunity—that um, you're not already going to be immune to this because you haven't had it before. 
unless you're one of the, so 8,000 people got SARS coronavirus and 800 of them died. So unless you're one of those 7,200 people and you would know because you would have been real sick because everybody that got that virus was, um, there is uh, there's no way that you have any meaningful amount of immunity. You can find little bits of antibodies that seem to maybe stick a little bit to this virus and then stick really well to a different virus because they're from the other virus. And, you know, yeah, there's only so many ways to make a protein. And you can find a teeny weeny population of T cells, uh, just minuscule, that seem to be finding something similar about both of these. But it is, I don't know if it's like one one thousandth of a normal lackluster immune response that we're talking about. It's not zero, but it's not enough to actually do you any good. Um, yeah, to, to dig out the numbers, you've got to go in. There are a couple of papers that actually look at the immune response to COVID-19 and pick apart exactly the antibody response, which parts of the virus are the antibodies sticking to, um, the T-cell response, helper T-cells, killer T-cells separately, and all of this is out there. And yeah, you, you can go and read it, but uh, Beta M. Sadler is retired, and I don't know, yeah, maybe this doesn't like reading paper. It's, it's whatever, yeah. It's not the person's job to read papers. I guess it is their job to not spout off when they have no idea what they're talking about and are doing it in a way that's going to get people hurt. Maybe that is then the, yeah, <laughs> an ethical matter. <laughs> but all right, let's go on. Fine. I don't know. I'm not treating this one as seriously because this person ought to know better. A lot of the other people are, I, I don't know anything, can't infer anything about them. And so, I, yeah, they may just be in a really bad place. And that's why they're saying all this crazy stuff. But this person, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Part three is the failure of modelers. Um, and yeah, there were a lot of models that predicted that the virus would go down. It's the thing with models, they're modeling the current situation based on some prior situation and a series of assumptions taken from that prior situation. There are only so many ways to reasonably model a situation. There are only so many equations you can plug these things into that we have. People have been developing more. Oh yeah, they've been working hard on them, but uh, yeah. Models are not useful because they are always right. They're useful because they let us explore the what ifs without having to go in and make mistakes all by ourselves. That's what models are for and modelers. Yeah. Yeah. So they're useful. Keep them around. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> uh, part four is called immunology and common sense. And it starts off as an immunologist. I blah, 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 blah. And it just goes completely off a cliff. Um, uh, yeah. At the beginning, um, it does say that the immune response is stronger than everyone thought. I would say the immune response is weaker than I would have pictured based on the model of SARS coronavirus 1. That has a much stronger immune response and the differences between these two are really not clear because they're binding to the same protein and going into the same cells and they have all the same genes and some of the genes are actually so close to identical that you would swear they were identical. <laughs> yeah, so it's got to be some kind of tiny difference that makes all the difference. And I know there are people looking for it, but I have not yet read a paper where somebody has convincingly found it. Yeah, what's the what's the key? What's the big difference? Um, and uh, it goes on and on and on. And it's just all young people don't have to wear masks. Masks are stupid. And then there's yeah, this person's face at the bottom, which I don't know. Yeah shouldn't be proud of messing up in a way that's going to hurt people. I get the feeling that this person is. And yeah, that also is kind of sad. But what? Nah, nah, ordinarily, ordinarily, it wouldn't matter. Ordinarily, nobody would have the amount of power that a person like this has to do evil. Yeah, consider who whoever has the power to cause people on different countries and continents to go out and debilitate themselves or die. Who has that power? Yeah, it's a terrible power. No, I wouldn't want it. Nobody would want it, I think. 
But um, that's exactly what we're seeing. And that's, yeah, that's the power of bad information and wrong information, unfortunately. And um, on this one, I do not feel like it's coming from a good place. It feels like it's coming from a place of, yeah, overconfidence and uh, under under competence. Yeah. So, all right. Anyway, this person's retired, so I guess there's a limit to how much nonsense they can do. But uh, this, uh, yeah, it's probably a worst case scenario for somebody like that. So anyway, there you go. That is my limited understanding of this thing. And I wish it wasn't there, but I'm also glad that you brought it up because somebody will see this, somebody will be looking online, trying to kind of do their own research, come to their own conclusions, and they'll run into something like this. And unless, think how many videos or other statements it takes to actually properly, you know, put something like this into focus as the nonsense that it is, like destructive nonsense. And it's, yeah, the answer may be that there's no way to put that uh, genie back in the bottle. You can't put all the bad stuff back in Pandora's box. And there's a lot of people that are, uh, yeah, really in a box opening mood out there. That's what I'm sensing. Yeah, anyway, there we go. So, I don't know. Then uh, I don't know. Yeah. I just, oh, yeah. I wish people would. All right. Thanks very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben.